<laughs> yeah. It melted the bottom. <laughs> I was like, sweet. They sent me new molds. They did not hold up very well to all that resin. But that's okay. They sent me a lot of them. <laughs> well, I was going to try to put some resin in that. And you know what? I think I will. So, I'm going to go get some. No, oh, it won't look right. It just isn't going to look right. Nope, let's leave it. Alright, so change of plan. So since I don't quite remember what I did, it appears I used some clear, but I can't remember. And I don't feel like going in to watch the footage. <laughs> so, this is Total Boat Fast Set Hardener. Two to one, and I am going to just pour some in here. And then, because that's a blood red, and then I have the gold, so I'm going to pour that in here. And then hopefully, huh, everything just kind of intermingles like so, and looks the same. And I think I might oh, stick that back in the pressure pot. A little bit of lean that way, what do you think? Or do you think I should just let it go like so? Hell, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'll get back to that in a bit. All right, well, it don't look exactly like it. <laughs> uh, I checked the footage. I did not put any clear in it, but I mean, it's just that little section, so I don't think it'll hurt it too bad. I was hoping I'd keep that. I don't think it's going to happen. Because in order to get the look I want out of here, I'm going to have to cut in a little bit. Because right now I just got a chunk of resin all the way around. Uh, so, this is a piece of choke cherry. It was off of a tree that we, um, we, we chopped down using pew pews. <laughs> so... Uh, this is the second half of a previous one that I've done, and I'll put that one over there in the corner. I did, I did it a year or so ago. It's on a similar basis. I think I used copper and not blood red, I believe. I'm not positive what colors I used in it. Uh, it looked really cool. And I saw it sitting there, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll try that one. Why not, you know? So uh, I'm just going for a basic bowl shape, maybe a, a little dip of a rim, just so I can get to the fragmented parts where this was tore apart when it fell. Because um, this was just blown apart, really, is what it was, <laughs> you know. So, uh, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm most likely going to cut this in some more. And then, uh, depending on what it looks like in here, it'll de determine if I put a, a Bernie logo in or a, a coin logo in. But, like I said, I still have to get rid of that. Uh, this is causing me... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. That's causing me a lot of issues with make the tools dull right now when it hits it. 
because that's a, a full metal jacket there on top of that round. I'm going to assume that's probably a 9mm, I'm guessing. Don't know. Um, I know there's a, a few 9mm in here, some 223s, some 45s, uh, maybe a shotgun or two, uh, 357s, whatever. Whatever, the tree became the target at some point. And it took us a while to take it down. <laughs> so, but let's get going on it. <laughs> I found another one. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I thought I was going to lose that one. So it's going, but there appears to be another one there. Uh, who knows what we're going to find in there. <laughs> uh, I, I, I wanted to keep it, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let me see if I can uh, make that come out of there. I don't think I'm going to go much. I'm go a little flatter here, round this down a little bit, and that's pretty much my shape. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, let's grab this one here.
guys, come over here. Look at this. Look at this. Here, is that close enough for you? <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, look at that. Look how cool that is. That's really cool looking. I think, I'm not sure where my repair was. I don't see it anywhere. I think it was like right here. Somewhere, right in there. It looks like right there was my repair. <laughs> but that looks really cool. Not sure what to call this one for a thumbnail. That looks like some kind of explosion going on there, don't it? <laughs> Inferno, maybe? I don't, it's, it's just a going. <laughs> All right, let's get her flipped over. Uh, clearly, because of this big old chunk of resin right here, I am going to put a logo in the bottom of that and then put resin on it. I got one here, I got one over there. So anyways, uh, I, whatever's in the choke cherry, I noticed it on the other side, but it's more prevalent on the inside. It's dulling my traditional tools like right now, as soon as I touch the wood. It doesn't help that I'm hitting, a, hitting brass and, and lead in there also. So that there's gotta be some kind of dirt or something in it. I think I had this problem last time, so I'm gonna hog most of it out of there with this and then try to clean it up. Now I got one down here. Uh, there's one in the side somewhere right here. Uh, but that, that's probably gonna be gone. It's, it's a perfect shape of one too. But uh, So <clears throat> like I said, I'm gonna hog this out until I get close and then, then I'll refine it a little bit with the uh, traditional tools.
Okay, well, it is definitely not perfect. This is really cool looking. <laughs> uh, let me get this off here and get it over to the sticker board and talk about it. Here they go. <laughs> uh, don't take much to get them go. I'm gonna try to record that one day <clears throat> so you can see them all howling out there. So, anyways, we are not going to sticker board yet. I forgot. I do need to put the uh, logo in. <laughs> so, dummy forgot there's supposed to be a logo in there. Apparently. Okay, so I used a uh, metallic gold paint. I stole it out of my wife's paints over there. <laughs> I thought it would fit with the gold kind of yellow flames. It's subtle, but you can still see it. We'll have to do the sticker board tomorrow. <laughs> what did you do with the lid? You find the lid. Where's the lid? So there you go. Uh, the gold doesn't look bad. I thought it would stand out a little bit better, kind of, kind of dies into the cherry there. Uh, this color looks great against the cherry, so um, you can see there's a couple uh, pew pews in there. There's pew pew. There's a pew pew. There's some pew pew fragments, um, and I think there's another pew pew there, but that's I think that's the uh, fragments up in there. <laughs> it was rough. It really ate the tools up. Um, I'm, I'm going to think probably because it was laying laying down back there for a year or so, and, and like I just kept mowing around it. And I think that uh, most likely threw dirt and all that in it. So, anyways, uh, choke cherry, um, the caster choice colors, uh, blood red and the gold. Uh, um, I get all my, I got all the caster choice colors from Turntex. Turntex here somewhere. But there's a link in the description below for that. And uh, yeah, uh, I really like how it turned out. The, the flamey look here. So so that uh, entailed the title of it, you know, a couple different ways. Under fire, uh, you know. <laughs> and it looks like fire. It really does kind of look like fire. So uh, how about we go with, uh, who's on the board up there? How about we go with uh, uh, right here, Double D or Daniel. Uh, I'm not even sure how to say that. Turny Dubois, I believe. So, go check out Daniel's channel. <laughs> and if you like it, stick around. Give him a, give him a, give him a, a, a comment and a subscribe if you like his channel. Uh, and I'll put some pictures up of this at the end. Um, you know, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, Y'all have a great weekend. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. look good. I like it. Over to the sticker board.